So Gaffer, reflecting on a very good eight days where he picked up nine points, I bet you've come back in today and the place is buzzing. Yeah, most definitely. Um, it's been a real good feeling around, certainly the training grounds. Um, you know, the last few weeks, of course, results, um, you know, brings that confidence um, and that positivity around, which is, is what we want. You know, it certainly helped us get through a few of the last few games and, and the travel and everything that's come with it. Um, but yeah, the boys are in today and um, there's a real good feel good factor around the place and you know, we want to use that to help kick us on. Mm. And that last win did lift us up a couple of places in the table and I guess it does make that target of, of the playoffs that we've spoken about a, a bit more realistic. Yeah, it gives us something to go at, which again is, is what we've said we wanted. Um, of course, we had a, you know, a bad run, um, you know, certainly prior to me coming in and then a few bad results early on in the when I took over. So again, to, to kick on and get that nine points was massive just to get us within that reach a little bit of touching distance. There's still a lot of work to be done. You know, we've said that we need to, to go on a run to get anywhere near it. You know, we believe we've, we've started that run and now it's about making sure we stay on it. You know, we can't, you know, think that we've cracked it or, or done anything yet. You know, there's still, you know, an awful lot of work that needs to go on to make sure that we turn these three games into four, five, six, you know, wins. Obviously, stay unbeaten as long as we can, which, again, is a big thing for me. Um, because if you're in games and, and you give yourselves a chance, like we've shown, we've got the quality to go and finish them off. Mm. And we've seen it on a few occasions this season where we have gone on a run of, of three wins and that's been followed up with a run of three defeats. So, kind of touch on it there, but I guess the mentality coming into this Mansfield game has, has really got to be one that, you know, we need to go in that and get a positive result. Yeah, again, I think that's probably summed us up a little bit over the last, if I'm being honest, couple of seasons, really. We haven't found that real consistency, that real run, again, of, of being unbeaten for prolonged periods and also winning, you know, again, three, four, five games on the bounce or at least, you know, not losing when you're on those good runs. And then again, for me, you know, that's why it's important. You know, the Exeter game in particular was really disappointing. But to get back on track as quickly as we can and not let that one defeat spiral into two or three. So again, in these first seven games, you know, one defeat is is great. You know, and again, for us, that's the target between now and the end of the season is, is really limiting those losses. And if you can do that, as I said, um, you know, we'll, we'll stand a, a decent chance um, of trying to gate crash those players. Mm. In terms of the Easter weekend, it's Mansfield away on the Friday and home to Walsall on the Monday. And two sides that probably aren't doing as well as, as they would have hoped at this stage of the season. No, but at the same time, for me, I think one thing that makes the league what it is and the EFL in general is, you know, there really are no gimmies at any point of the season. Everybody's fighting for something, you know, whether it's a team that maybe can't get in the playoffs or maybe they're safe. But individuals, especially in this climate, everybody's fighting for one, to stay in a team, to earn a contract, to get a move potentially. Um, so it's fiercely, fiercely competitive. And we're certainly not looking at anybody in terms of a league position and assuming we're going to go and turn up and win. We have to make sure we're, you know, as at it as when we go to Newport, who are in the playoffs and the team we're trying to trying to chase. And that our mentality, our attitude's absolutely spot on. You know, we've shown it going away to a couple of teams that were above us. That if they're not quite right and we're as good as we can be, you know, anyone can beat anybody. So we're certainly going to make sure, you know, we're tuned in and, and taking the games as seriously as we need to. Mm. And in that final third, it's been brilliant to see Connor Wilkinson and Dan Kemp in, in, in great form. Whereas Dan Johnson goes on a bit of a hunt for that goal to, to break that duck. Yeah, but it's a little bit like Con. You know, he went on a, a bit of a, a barren run, certainly in terms of finding the goals. And as it always seems to be the case, as soon as you get that first one, second one and then the third one comes obviously Kempe's had his goals he's, he's assisting you know been very productive and again that was probably the biggest pleasing factor for me um, we looked to fret I think that is one area that we really looked to try and improve that we weren't getting enough out of certainly productivity the top end of the pitch whether it be shots you know crosses chances created and ultimately goals I felt on Saturday we looked at a real threat. You know, we, we got shots on target. We worked their goalkeeper. Um, and again, that's without DJ firing. So we can get him back in the goals. We're all obviously working hard to make sure that that happens. He's working as hard as anybody else. Um, and it's about getting him into the positions that he can go and get those those goals. But he's certainly contributing in terms of his work and other aspects, other aspects of his game. Um, it's just hopefully one comes off his backside and, and ricochets in to, to get him going again. But 
um, yeah, good to see the goals coming. Mm. Um, and finally, we, we know Hector comes back from international duty and be available selection. Um, Nick Freeman probably not too far away either. So that's got to be a real positive having that added strength to come into this weekend. Yeah, of course, especially at such an important stage of the season. Again, I'm always one that will drive competition throughout the squad. You know, I want as many real good options to select, you know, whether it be to start a game or coming onto the pitch to affect it. Um, and certainly with, with Hector coming back, who again was outstanding when he came on against Newport, you know, obviously went away and, and did well, you know, for Cyprus under 21s, which was great for him personally. Of course, we lose him for that. But he's been out and he's played a game, which is good. You know, he's got a 90 minutes in his legs. Um, so he'll certainly be pushing um, as he does every day in terms of his training. His attitude is absolutely spot on. So again, another real good option for us in that midfield area. Nick's been back out running this week. So yeah, from a squad point of view, really good. Um, and again, I want us to be strong and healthy, you know, heading into these last nine games.